on, the crappie guy. Oh my God. Big old male. Thick. Big old male, thick. Yeah, still frozen. Well, not frozen solid, but. That's a big one right here, too. These, both of these are big. God, dog. Oh. Lord Jesus. That's about a 10, this right here, about a 10 and a half cropper right here. Maybe 10. And look what those look like. Mm -mm -mm. Big old male, boy. I believe they male. They dark. That might be a female right there. Look at that. Look at this big old male here. Got that tuxedo on. Got that black on. Got that tuxedo on, guys. All right, everyone. I hope everyone is having a great Sunday. You and your family, your friends. And I want to welcome you guys back to the channel. So what I wanted to do, guys, is I wanted to do a video of more in depth on how to fillet crappies, guys. And this 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 technique actually can work for any fish, bass, catfish, uh, bluegill, they're big enough, or saltwater fish. But we're gonna do how to fillet crappies. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna be a little bit more slower, more detailed. And if it, anyone out there that needs help with how to play, hopefully this video can help you guys out. So you guys saw the crappies in the bucket, some pretty big ones in there, two pounders. And uh, we're gonna get it going, guys. So we got, I'm gonna show you guys what we got here. So guys, we're gonna be using a saltwater piranha, Mr. Twister. We got two blades that go with it. We might use the cutting board here, or we might just do it right off the table, guys. And uh, here's my, there's about seven crappies in there. And we're gonna get it going. So, I like your, using electrical knives, guys. If you wanna lose a regular flay knife, you can. There's nothing wrong with that. Either way, it's gonna get the job done. I like to use the electrical knives. It'll, get, it, it'll do the work for you. All right, guys, so we're gonna start off. We'll start off with this one. This fish is probably about 13 inches long there. Big fish, big fish. All right. So what I do, so what I do guys, is this dorsal fin here. So what I do guys, this fin here, I raise it up to gill plate. Now, I raise this gear plate up right there. I diagonal, so I this, my, my blade is turned this way, diagonal, and I cut down into it. Now, you're gonna feel that uh, backbone or spine, that's what they call it, you're gonna feel that. Once you feel that, you don't wanna cut through it, guys. So once you feel that, you can stop the blade, flip it over, and start the process of going down to the tail, right? So you wanna stay on top of that, uh, you wanna stay on top of that backbone. If you cut through it, then you're gonna have to do some surgery or you might well go ahead and flay it and, 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 and cook it the old way. So we're gonna just go straight down, straight down the... Then what I do is I don't cut through the tail I flip it over like this. Yeah, see, this is this is just a big old male, guys. I'm talking about probably about a two, almost a two-pound male, thick. And then what I do is, right here, I start the blade right up on it. I, I don't cut through the uh, through the through the uh, scales, right? The skin just go right up under it, kind of like that. If you guys can see that, and then I just I let the blade I let the blade do the work for me for me, right? Just just guide it. And guys, there you go, you got one huge fillet, right? And the only thing you got now is the scales. The outer skin. So you just got the scales, guys, that's it. 
That's the, you know, no meat is on it. Put that in the gut bag. Okay, you're gonna flip it over. And you're gonna do the same process, guys. Just gonna do it backwards. So you're gonna flip this up. The scale, the uh, the gear plate. Remember, the knife is gonna be angled toward the head. Once you get in there, hit that bone, flip it over. And normally, when you hit the bone, the knife will sound different. That way, you can back off of it and kind of. Uh, start over there you go flip it over same thing up under the skin up under the filet till you get to the skin don't cut through the skin and you got a hand size filet cut that skin off some of you guys that follow me know this. You get newer guys, newer people. Uh, this is something I do. So I keep the backbone, and I would explain to you why. Okay, guys. So the reason why I keep this because look at all that meat. So this thing has a it's loaded with meat, guys. And when you flay it, the tail and the and the, and the fins here. Man, it tastes so good. So, two fillets, one backbone. Let's grab another one. This is gonna be a huge one as well. This is a male, guys. Dark, dark colors. Got the tuxedo on, the fins are super dark. So we're gonna do this one here. I'm gonna show you one more time. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna speak a little bit slower so you guys can hear. Any, any first timers trying to fillet. So you wanna make sure that the knife electrical knife raise the fin up gear plate make sure it's turned toward the head you guys and you see how that electrical knife just cuts in there for you you don't have to do much slowly flip it over and go down the uh, backbone and normally if you can hit the backbone you hit it from the start but once you get kind of right past the middle part it just he's on down there this right here is a thick crappie guys this is a solid crappie same thing don't cut through the skin you can put your finger right there hold it down and let the knife work for you Another huge filet. Nothing but skin. We're gonna flip it over. And we're gonna do the same thing.
big old problem. everyone let me show you guys the finishing touches guys so this is what in so I'm gonna actually cook these today 
some of the uh, backbone, some of the fillets. You can see they're just white meat, super, super clean. And then this is the bag that I have that I'm, I'm gonna actually give to my brother. It's probably about eight fillets in there, eight big fillets that he can take home to him and my sister-in-law. But these are what I'm gonna fillet up today. I mean, I'm gonna fry up today. Enjoy these on Sunday. You guys have a blessed day, blessed Sunday. Enjoy your family your loved ones, your friends, and y'all stay blessed, Kate. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, commenting, and all that good stuff. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Y'all have a good one. Peace.